Hello tiny creatures of the universe, my name is Floating Koala, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to give you a really quick breakdown of the top 5 weapon combos to use in arenas. Now the thing is, in arenas, you know, you can't really buy two weapons off drop, you kind of have to buy one and then, you know, eventually save up to buy the other one. So starting off with number 5, okay, before that, just, guys, make sure you follow my Twitter, please, I love you. And like this video and subscribe, I love you. Okay, starting off with number 5, we have the Vault and the PK. Now, you obviously know that you start off with 550 credits, so if you buy the Vault, you won't really have any left. Um, but the thing is, you're buying the Vault to quickly eliminate the other team. You're not really buying it to, you know, start poking at each other from far away, whatever. You, you want to finish this fight early, you're going to have to just pick up the Vault and full send these guys, okay? You have to take as, le as the least amount of damage as possible. Something you may find surprising is that the Havoc is actually pretty cheap. So, you know, if you're, if you're not amazing at the game and you genuinely want a really good gun to start off with, also, so saving you some money to buy some meds use the havoc even if you're a good player bro i'm telling you the havoc is cheap just buy it simple but yeah the first weapon combo is the um vault and the pk very very simple just you know it doesn't matter don't worry about upgrading your guns too much especially the pk the pk is just there to make sure you finish your opponents so weapon combo number four is the wingman and the pk again this is a, a more high skill class loadout um, the Havoc is, no, sorry, the Vault is probably the best gun to buy off, off of at the start. Honestly, even if you're going to be running Wingman PK, maybe you should buy the Vault off at, at first because the Wingman without attachments is kind of bad. So maybe just, you know, use a different gun until you can save up to buy a Blue Wingman or even a Purple Wingman. Like I said, you mainly want to focus on upgrading your Wingman rather than the PK. The PK is there to just finish them off. You're going to do your, most of your damage with the Wingman. So yeah, make sure you get cracked out with the wingman. Moving on to number three, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very beautiful loadout. This is the flatline and the alternator. In the clip you're seeing in the background here, I'm actually using the flatline and the re. I don't know why I was playing Gibby. I was playing like absolute ass, so I think I just picked him up because Gibby, you know, Gibby's Gibby. Um, but yeah, the alternator, the, the re, doesn't really matter what you use, but as long as you're using the flatline as your main weapon, you can just use one of those, you know, smaller, cheaper guns as your secondary weapon, which is a very, very good thing to do. Number two, ladies and gentlemen, this is my second favorite. Okay, number one, by the way, it, it is my favorite loadout. It, it's the most cringiest loadout to use, but it's actually amazing, so stay tuned for that. But number two, ladies and gentlemen, is the bow and any type of shotgun you want. You can use the PK, you can use the Eva, the Mastiff, anything you want to use, you just use. Just make sure you're using the bow. The bow is a little bit expensive, um, so honestly, you may want to just whatever secondary gun you can buy that you're comfortable with, make sure you buy. But I personally like using the bow and the Eva, um, but it does take a while for you to unlock two guns because the bow is one of the most expensive to unlock at first. But yeah, the bow and the Eva, very, very beautiful to use. Bow PK, very fun to use. Difficult as hell. Um, especially if you're not a controller, because I'm pretty sure the bow has no aim assist, so it's a little bit harder to use. Now, the final loadout, ladies and gentlemen, the best loadout in arenas. I'm so sorry to say this, because probably there's going to be a couple more people using this now. But by far, the best loadout to use is the charge rifle and the PK. This, because you start off with six times on the charge rifle. It, it is the most cringiest thing on earth, because it's a game of attrition, right? Arenas is a game of attrition. It's whoever has the most heals basically wins. Um, and the charge rifle was not used to kill them. It's used to diminish their supplies and basically just keep shooting them with a charge rifle un until they have nothing. And then you can move on to killing them with the PK or the real whatever you want to do. But yeah, it's uh, it it's very cringy to use. It's easy as hell to use. It was actually super fun to use, but I'm, I'm sure if you're coming up against it, I would I would have probably left the game. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was a little bit informative. Try using these loadouts a lot more. I'm sure that I, I can make a part two or part three of this because there are so many little weapon combos that you can go with. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found this a little bit helpful. Now you know what to buy off drop. Realistically, you can buy whatever you want to buy, but these, are, in my opinion, are the best weapon combos to use at the moment. Um, there, there are a lot more a lot more weapons you can pick from. Yes, obviously, this is a top five, so let me know if you want a part two of this, and I will gladly do one. Ladies and gentlemen, have a lovely rest of your day. Make sure you follow my Twitter, follow my Twitch, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.